Today, the Senate is expected to take up the $95 billion foreign aid package that has divided the Republican Party. That bill includes funding for Israel and Ukraine passed in the House over the weekend. NBC's Ryan Nobles is live on Capitol Hill. And Brian, when will this get to the president's desk? Well, Hoda, good morning. It is expected to pass as early as today and by the latest tomorrow. The bulk of the $95 billion package is more than $60 billion in desperately needed weaponry for Ukraine. It also allocates $26 billion in military aid for Israel, which does include humanitarian aid for Gaza, and then a little more than $8 billion for Taiwan. It has gotten bipartisan support because it includes GOP priorities that some Democrats are willing to back, including a potential ban of TikTok if its Chinese owner doesn't sell its stake within a year. But it comes after months of stalling by Speaker Johnson, who changed his mind after a high-level intelligence briefing on the war, all despite threats from House Republicans to oust him from his job, in part because of Ukraine funding and, of course, working with Democrats. Hoda? So let's talk about Speaker Johnson for a second. Are there still a risk of him losing his job? Yeah, there still is, Hoda, and some House Republicans are looking to drum up support to oust him. But as of right now, he may be safe largely because of the support he is getting, including one key backer, former President Trump, defending him in an interview yesterday, citing the razor-thin majority Republicans have and saying that, quote, he's trying very hard. And, of course, Democrats have not ruled out stepping in to help Johnson if it came down to a vote, which seems even more plausible now that he's passed a foreign aid bill that they have been pushing for. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.